Space, the final frontier. This was the dream that led the Federation. To make peace throughout the galaxy. To stand firm against all opposition. And to boldly go where no one had gone before. Hello and welcome everybody to Let's Play Star Trek Birth of the Federation. Yes, it's a Star Trek game. I've liked the series since I was a little kid and I've also enjoyed the new Star Trek film recently. So here we are playing a Star Trek themed game. It's based in the time of the Next Generation series, for those of you who know Captain Picard, Data, Commander Riker, guys like that. Well, this game actually has a playing active live community in the internet. I've just noticed recently when I was searching for patches for the game that they are, there are a lot of people still playing this game although it was released back in 1999 so right between Civilization 2 II and 3 was this game released it's the same genre like Civilization and Master of Orion 2 it's a turn based strategy game don't expect as much game depth as Civilization 4 Beyond the Sword had, but I think it's still a pretty decent game. And yeah, I should probably say I don't consider myself a Trekkie. I like Star Wars too. I just enjoy science fiction and Star Trek is some good old school science fiction in my, in my point of view. So, let's start a new game. Configure game parameters. Well, I haven't played this game as much as Master of Round 2 and Civilization, so don't expect me to be as good in this game as I am in those other games. I'll do my best nonetheless, and I think I will take normal difficulty. I've beat the game on hard but I haven't played for a very long time so I'll take normal. Some minor races, ring shaped, galaxy, large size. Tactical Select galactic combat. power to control. Well I used to play the United Federation of Planets a lot. But since I've played Master of Run and Civilization peacefully, I will take... The Klingon Empire! The Klingons are among the most feared warriors of the galaxy. They regard espionage as a dishonorable practice, but are, they are willing to defend themselves through internal security. They are capable of diplomacy, but they regard it as a last resort. Their preference is conquest and battle. Their starships are fast and heavily armed and very well suited to predatory group attacks. Yep, I'll play the Klingons. So let's get it on. If a Klingon does not fight, he does not breathe. Make allies if you must, but never leave the Empire without an enemy. Klingons are born to fight and conquer. 
A true leader will never forget this. So, we have to keep that in mind. Because in this game, there's morale, which influences our production. Right now our people are content, which means no positive and no negative effects, but morale afflicts research, uh, industry production and farm production, I guess, I'm not sure. So this is our home system, Kronos, I guess it's the, it's the right pronunciation, but I'm not sure. Well. We are at the moment have 190 population and we are able to house 375 people. So every 10 population equals one labor unit. As you might see I'm able to distribute them over here. So right now we're producing 331 food and we will need to increase that to at least 375 to sustain all our people. We don't need that much energy, but we could use some industry. So let's go build some foundries and hunting grounds and continue with some foundries after that. So this game has a kind of unique menu, some people hate it, I like it actually. So there is our home system and we'll use a scout to explore. Oh this is nice, dilithium present. So in Birth of the Federation, since it's a Star Trek themed game, you need to build, uh, you need to have dilithium to produce ships. So each system producing a starship consumes one dilithium per turn. So our home system obviously has dilithium because if we, if it hadn't, we couldn't build ships at all. But having more than one dilithium ex uh, deposit in your empire means that more than one system can build ships simultaneously. So this is a very attractive system because of the dilithium. And over here we have a nebula. And a black hole. Starships in this sector may be destroyed if they drift too close to the event horizon. Oh my god. An alien culture has been encountered. Beneath their soft exterior, the Bajorans have strong hearts. They can be an inspiration to our people. Nice. They also have dilithium and they will start to build ships sooner or later. So, we could make them friendly with us by diplomacy, but they are already uncooperative. So, we will conquer them. We we'll also need ships because they have orbital defenses, oh my god. This is a crappy system. This too is a crappy system. And yeah, I'm not too good system. So you notice our home system harbors or as is capable to house 375 people and all of these systems are around 150 years so they are at 140 
they are at 100 and they are at 130. So they are, there are mods out there to change that, but I'm playing the game without any of those mods right now. Purchase acknowledged. And it's that time again. So I'll interrupt the recording and be right back.